Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today, Flea Market Find series came back. Um, it's a it's a tool that uh, I found on Flea Market, and it's uh, it's very interesting and it's quite different from what I've used before. So it, I thought it was worth to uh, show you guys. And such a lot of interesting points on this tool. And as you can see, it's a it's a punch tool. It's a rotary tool punch, so that you can rotate this. Um, Part so that you have different sizes of punches in one hand, and it's, I've I've tried to use this in the past a lot. Uh, different I've several tried several products, and surprisingly, I didn't like them all because it was really hard to do it with um, with this type of punch. Because I rather I rather um, use a hammer and a single punch so that you can punch it. Uh, I thought it was easier, but then I wanted to give this a try because. It was made in West Germany, okay? So, uh, I think you guys already know that Germany was uh, divided into West and East, just like South Korea is right now, South Korea and uh, North Korea. But there was a unification uh, about 30 years ago. Now it's just uh, made in Germany if it's produced in Germany. Uh, there's no such term as a West Germany or East Germany. Uh, but then it was made before the unification, so it was, um, it's written made in West Germany. And Back in the times, all tools uh, still were much better. And I shouldn't say still were much better. Um, I should say material was um, better in the past because nowadays you have to cut down costs because of many um, problems because now Asian countries produce things much, much cheaper and in better qualities so that if you want to produce something in Europe or even uh, other other um, countries, you have to figure out how to cut down costs to, in order to match or to be you know, in order to um, better um, advance the product. Uh, if, if, there's, it's, if the money is a problem, like if it's a like, luxury car, um, it's, it's a different case. But then this kind of thing, uh, the industry has been closed down because of that. Uh, you know, they couldn't really compete uh, with the quality and the prices matter. So these things, uh, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure this whoever um, made this made this tool have closed down. And I could it could be not the that reason, but that's one of the reasons for sure. So uh, these tools are much better back in the days. Okay, now um, like I said, uh, I didn't really like the result with the previous this kind of punches. I think because of the steels they use on the on the on the the um, punches and this um, bottom thing uh, dies and I, I think it has uh, some effect to it. Um, I'm talking to a lot so uh, I will just show you the packaging first so there's nothing on this side and this is only this picture of um, punch and this says made in W uh, Germany so West Germany and there's some um, label and I think that this is a price tag. Do you see this um, DM 12.50. I think this is Deutsche Mark. So it's 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 um, before even Euro. Uh, it was Mark. It's it's a uh, it's different units of when when Germany was using their currency. They had different units of the currency. So it's even before using Euro. Euro. And it's quite um, old, I should say. Okay. So interesting there's nothing here and there's nothing here so there's no company indicated here so i guess this is maybe military used or even other um government building or i mean government um in this government how should i say owned um department yeah government owned department i'm not sure okay but it looks same right it looks all same uh but it has a zinc coating so Whenever uh, when you use a rusty, uh, not a stainless, but whenever you use some kind of a low carbon, a medium carbon steel for tools or anything like that, you need to protect the surface because it rusts very easily. Okay, so what usually what you can do cheaply is that you coat the whole thing with zinc. Okay. And uh, there's actually a term for this, and uh, I don't want to go too much detail about this uh, whole industry and whole 
scientific thing, so I'll just uh, keep it that way. So it has constructed uh, of a, like a steel sheet was folded in different ways in order to make handle and there's a thing and there's also spring inside you can see so when you try to close it to use the punch it will automatically go back to original shape so it looks like this and it has just a West Germany stamp here no companies no nothing like that so I cannot give any info now let's try how, how these do and I cannot explain why but it punches much better but I'm sad that I don't have any comparison to do so but check this out okay I'm just using my one hand like this okay if you have one of these try to do it with yourself this is only two mil vegetable thick um, two millimeter vegetable ladder and I could do this with one hand with any, any not so much of force okay and it's really like really good good feeling because it's all tool but then still works much better than the current tools see other sizes it's even third big size see Let's go even higher. Oops, sorry. Yep, yep. Okay, yep. So it cuts much better. And I think it, it has to do with this steel that used or this geometry they grounded or the heat treatment they did in the past. They don't do it anymore. Or the bottom thing is much better. I'm not sure. I thought it was brass and then plated it with zinc. But then if you, if you take a good look at it, it's not, it's not a brass. It's different material, I think. Maybe possibly lead. I don't know what they used in the back, back in the day. Not sure what kind of material it is just by looking at it. Um, it could be aluminium. It could be aluminium also. Yeah, I think it's aluminium. Yeah. Anyways, so it's it's a punch tool. I've never expected it to be good, this good, but I I gave my last hope, or my, like, really like gut. I had I trust my gut that these old tools were just much better because of other reasons some other reasons and then yeah i was right it was much better than the current ones so that's why for tools like this i really dive in for antique ones or old ones so these are the my keepers uh, I, I think i really would like to keep this and uh, if you if you are um treasure hunting for your um, leather working or woodworking Try to even look for in different um, section that uh, you are interested. Sometimes you might find, find lucky to find like this. Okay, so this was um, another flea market series video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave. I do have many get questions where you find my uh, these uh, these tools, and it's very random. Uh, I, I sometimes I just find it on the streets and uh, if I go to local flea market and if I travel to somewhere I go there and I I try to look into that local market so it's not just a specific that oh there's a Chelsea flea market that I go to I find it there it's not like that so it's I cannot really say which which one I found which one is uh, sometimes very old um, sometimes very recent so I cannot really give you any detail info on that sorry but it's you can you can try any free market in your nearby so that's my advice so okay so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye